everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. He's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. Hi, Emma. Hi, Auntie. Emma, how are you feeling today? Well, Auntie, I'm a little tired. My mom said I had a percussion this week. Um, Emma, I think you mean concussion. Percussions are types of drums. Oh, right, concussion. That's what I said, Auntie. Oh, wow, Emma, you had a concussion? What happened? Well, Auntie, as you know, I'm in cheerleading. In fact, I'm the most amazing, spectacular, did I say amazing, cheerleading star ever. <laughs> okay, got it, Emma, you're amazing, go on. Well, my friends and I were making a pyramid at cheerleading practice, and since I'm the smallest, I got to go right on the top. Wow, Emma, were you scared? No way, Auntie. I'm not scared of anything. Well, e e except maybe spiders, but don't say anything. So as I was saying, I was doing amazing, standing on top of the pyramid, when all of a sudden, Lily, the girl holding me, got a tickle in her nose and had to sneeze. ha -choo! When she sneezed, I came tumbling down from the pyramid, landing on my back, and I hit my head. Oh no, Emma. Yeah, it was a little scary. Luckily, Mom and Coach were there, and they helped me up right away. Good to hear, Emma. So what happened next? Well, I started to feel a little strange. So Mom took me to the hospital right away. Good job, Mom. So then, when I got to the hospital, the doctor listened to my heart and lungs and used a bright light in my eyes that I had to look at. She then asked me a lot of questions, which I don't really remember because I was really sleepy. Then, the doctor told my mom I had a percussion. <laughs> concussion, Emma. Yes, that's what I said, Auntie. Concussion and that mom had to watch me closely. So no more cheerleading until I felt better. Well, that sounds right, Emma. But Auntie, what, what is a concussion and, and why do I have to stop cheerleading? Good question, Emma. Well, to understand concussions, let's first take a look at our brain. That sounds good, Auntie. Our brain sits inside of our head, surrounded by a bone called the... What, Emma? The skull, Auntie. Yes, Emma, correct, the skull bone. Our skull acts as the protector of the brain. And right under the skull, the brain is covered by three additional web-like layers of protection called meninges. Can you say meninges, Emma? Hmm. Meninges, Auntie. Great job. So, when we fall and hit our head, we have the skull and these three layers of protection all helping protect our very important brain. That's great, Auntie. Yes. However, if we fall and hit our head hard enough or our body gets hit with a quick jolt, like from the jolt of a car accident, for example, the brain moves faster than our body can keep up with from the fall or jolt. So inside our skull, the brain begins to bounce back and forth, hitting the walls of our skull, which causes inflammation and injury to the cells of our brain. Oh no, Auntie! It's this action of rapid bouncing around of the brain inside our skull that is what we call a concussion. Wow, Auntie. So when I fell and hit my head, that's what happened? Yes, Emma. So, Auntie, 
do we get a concussion every time we hit our head? Because I've fallen so many times on the playground and, and I felt fine. Great question, Emma. You are correct. It depends on the force or how hard the fall or jolt is that creates the concussion. So you're right. Every time we fall, of course we don't get a concussion. So we can tell we have a concussion based on our symptoms. All right, Emma, let's review the signs and symptoms of concussions. These are things you may feel if you have a concussion. Number one, you may feel like throwing up, something called nausea. Number two, you may feel dizziness or like the room is spinning around. Number three, sometimes your vision may get blurry where it's hard to see things. Number four, you may feel really tired or foggy. Number five, you may forget things that people are telling you. And number six, and maybe even one of the most important symptoms is you may just not feel right. Yes, Auntie, that's how I was feeling. Like mom was asking me to get up and I, I just didn't feel good and felt sick to my stomach. It's also important to know that if you hit your head, you may have these symptoms right away or you may not have them for a couple days. So it's always good to tell someone when you hit your head and have your mom or dad watch you closely afterwards to make sure you don't get symptoms later. Okay, yes, that's what the doctor told my mom, Auntie. Perfect. Okay, Auntie, so now that I understand concussions, when can I go back to cheerleading? The girls on the team need my amazing skills. Well, Emma, it's very important we don't go back to playing sports before we are ready. We have to give time for the brain to heal, which can take as short as a few days or sometimes as long as several months. Everyone is different, but if you rush back into activities too soon, you can cause a lot of stress to the brain. Oh no, Auntie. Okay, so, so what should I do? Well, Emma, we base when you can go back to sports on how you are feeling. You must be symptom free to pass each of the five steps. So after a few days of rest, step one is to return to regular activities like school or maybe light walks. And then if you feel good, you can move on to step two, which is returning to light activities. So maybe five to 10 minutes of walking or light jogging or biking. And then if you feel good from there, you can move on to step three, which is returning to moderate activities. Moderate activities are faster jogging or faster biking and walking. And then if you feel good from there, you can move on to step four, which is returning to heavier activities with no contact. So this means you can now go to full running, full biking and sports, but no contact means doing it alone. So maybe you do the cheers alone, but you don't get on top of the pyramid yet. Okay, Auntie, I get it. And then if you continue to feel good, you can move on to step five, which is return to practice and full contact. This means you can now join the cheerleading pyramid again and cheer to your heart's desire if you feel okay. Wow, great, Auntie. All right, Emma, let's review all about concussions with a fun song. All right, let's do it, Auntie. All right, everybody, it's time to sing the concussion song.
everybody. I think we got it. Concussion, concussion, percussion, percussion, concussion, concussion. Sound the percussion. We rest first, then we go slow to play. Little by little, day by day. Our brain heals, we wait patiently. Then finally, we are symptom free. I hit my head, and now what do you see? I'm woozy and dizzy, I don't feel me. I'm foggy and groggy and sleepy today. When this happens, what do you say? Stop your play and sit down right now. Your brain is healing as we must allow. Concussion, concussion, stop right there. Your percussion, percussion as the brain repairs. I hit my head, now what do you see? I'm woozy and dizzy, I don't feel me. I'm foggy and groggy and sleepy today. When this happens, what do you say? Stop your play and sit down right now. Your brain is healing as we must allow. Concussion, concussion, stop right there. Your percussion, percussion as the brain repairs. All right, Auntie. I'm feeling much better now and rested. I'm ready to go outside and play slowly to see how I feel. Soon enough, I'll be back to cheerleading as the most amazing top of the pyramid star ever. <laughs> Sounds good, Emma. All right, let's go see what you can do. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Hey, everyone. If you like all these types of videos and you want to see more of Auntie and I, please subscribe and hit that notification button so that way you can see more videos just like this. Yeah, we can't wait to show more about the human body and help you learn. Click that like button, please!